want to record videos of your tennis matches but don't know how to start? Want high camera angles to capture a clear view of your matches? Want to start recording but don't want to spend a huge amount on your gear? Then stay tuned as I will be sharing with you how I made my DIY tennis camera setup and walk you through the step-by-step -step process of making it. Hi, it's Tom from Tennis with Tom. Recently, I've been getting a lot of questions from my tennis friends here in Singapore. Like, how do you set up your tennis camera? How do you mount it on a fence? How do you get that high angle? So, I made this video as a guide and also to encourage others to film their tennis matches. Cause it helps out a lot in developing your tennis game. Okay, so much for the intro. Get your pen and notepad cause here are the items that we will need. First, of course, we will need your camera. You can either use your phone or an action cam to film your tennis videos. These are compact and lightweight and easy to set up so you won't need to bring bulky and heavy gear on your way to your tennis matches. Just make sure that you have sufficient battery and storage before you head out so you can record your entire match. Second, we will need a pole. This can just be a simple sturdy stick that we can use to mount the camera at a high angle. Just make sure that the stick has a hole like this on one of its ends because this is where we will mount our clips later. You can either get this from unused dustpan, mop, or other household items. It is also much much better if these are extendable or retractable so we can mount the camera at a higher angle. You can also buy this at local grocery stores and markets for a cheap price. I bought mine for $3.50. Next, we will need a camera case if you're using an action cam or a phone holder if you're using a phone camera. For this video, we will be using this plastic camera case but you can also canvas for more durable cases so you will be more confident in bringing your gear outside. Just make sure that the camera case adapter is compatible with the next item which is camera bike mount. This will connect our camera to our pole. I use a bike mount because it's usually compatible with round handlebars and would be perfect for our setup. If you are on a budget constraint, you can search in online stores for cheaper alternatives. There are products ranging from $6 to $12 but do note that this comes with issues sometimes like incompatible adapter, weak durability, and others which can cause damage to your action cam or camera in the long run. So I invested a bit to a more durable clamp. This specific model is the Urig R060 Super Clamp I bought from Ulanzi. These are quite heavy but still compact and easy to set up Next are J hangers. We'll be using this to hang our camera setup to the fence. You can usually buy this from local hardware stores and are usually cheap. Just take note of the size. It must be 2 inches. And I think this is perfect. Anything smaller or larger than this will be difficult to hang at the fence. And for the last item, rubber bands. So for the first step, we are going to assemble the clips and the hangers. It will look something like this. You will need two J hangers and some rubber bands. Take note that the J hanger has a big side and a small side. So make sure that you have the big side at the bottom and make sure that it's aligned with the other J hanger. After this, you need to secure this part with a rubber band. Once done, do it on the other side. Make sure that the rubber band doesn't go over the end of the big side. If 
If you need to make it more secure, you can add more rubber bands. And next, get your pole. So for your pole, find the hole on the other end of the stick. Then insert the hanger that we made just a while ago. You can notice that it is still wiggling. This will serve as our hanger so we can clip it on the fence. We must make sure that it doesn't wobble or wiggle so that our camera recording is steady. So to ensure this, we need to put another layer of rubber band for additional security. We put this at the middle of the 2J hangers. Having this secures our clips and hangers and doesn't allow the hanger to fall out of the hole. Without this, there's a chance that this may slip out of the hanger. Next, we assemble the camera. It usually comes with this case, so it's already compatible. We just put the camera inside the case. And we attach it to the bike mount. For this bike mount, we just need to attach this part and this part. Now we attach the camera to the pole. For this, we just need to clamp this bike mount onto the pole and then turn this knob so we can secure the camera. Make sure that this is aligned to where the camera is facing. We now have our tennis camera and we are ready to hang it at the fence so we can record our tennis matches. And that's it! You are now ready to film your tennis matches. If you like this setup, do me a favor and click the like button and subscribe to my channel for more tennis videos. Just also want to thank Mike Messina, here's his channel, for inspiring me to film my tennis matches. And also my girlfriend Zarina for always being there to support me. See ya!